Okay, now, it's almost one year since 16 students at Kenyatta University developed ventilators and swabs to help the government combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, despite a public promise by the government to nurture and grow local inventions, some, like the ventilators, have gotten stuck in the country's approval processes. Well, tonight, we retrace the journey of these young innovators and why it has taken almost one year to secure the necessary approvals. The doctors uh, in the room today have confirmed that this ventilator can work and they have no hesitation in recommending it and uh, deploying it. That pronouncement made in early 2020 was like music to the ears of 16 students of Kenyatta University who were at advanced stages of developing ventilators and swabs which they displayed to Health Cabinet Secretary Butai Kagwe and his counterpart from the Ministry of Trade and Industrialization, Betty Miner. A promise was given to support and procure these innovations from the students once their products had passed the quality and standards test. But one year on, these ventilators have simply been gathering dust in the labs. We didn't know these were the expectations because we have not gone through this process uh, before. But uh, looking back, we would have expected this process would have taken a shorter time. It has been a challenge because the process should have taken a shorter period of time. You go to nations like uh, in the US, in UK, they've been validating such sample collect collecting kits within two weeks. We might not have expected to go within two weeks, but at least a shorter time than one year. Following a call from the government for manufacturers to come up with solutions to the challenges posed by the pandemic, a collaborative team of pharmaceutical, engineering and medicine students developed this critical machine, which it was hoped would provide a lifeline for COVID-19 patients who develop breathing difficulties. We are the first in Africa to come up with swabs alongside maybe ventilators with other nations. One year down the line, we had big hopes because this was the call from the government. The first prototype was subjected to uh, the international standards, and that is why we had to bring in uh, Kenya Bureau of Standards to ascertain that. The government made a promise to procure the machines once the process to verify their suitability was done. But nearly one year later, that has not happened. We applied to Pharmacy and Poisons Board. So as of now, we are waiting for them to give us uh, their feedback so that if it's positive, then we can go uh, for clinical trials. We've been hoping that the government, because this is a pandemic, they should streamline, they should have streamlined the procedures for validating these things and maybe to give it more attention because it is not only for Kenya but also for selling the nation of Kenya to other neighboring countries. According to the Trade and Industrialization Cabinet Secretary, Betty Miner, several organizations, including the Dedan Kimathi University and even an international car manufacturer, had proposed to make ventilators locally. But the complexity of the device has slowed down the process. Well, I'm actually, I mean, I'm, I'm also concerned that it has taken us so long. Uh, as, at my level, at the level of my, my colleague, the Minister for Health, we've really... Uh, try to intervene a lot with our regulators, but I, I can I can appreciate that they're nervous because this uh, this equipment hasn't been uh, you know, obviously produced here before. We worked with medical people and they say yeah this can work, but they need to improve X Y Z, and that's the journey uh, that, that they have been um, taking. At a time when the world applied emergency authorization to ensure that vaccines are available for quick use. Nevertheless, it is an approach that has its pros and cons. However, the cabinet secretary believes that at least two of the ventilator innovators should see their products ready for commercial use in the next three months, joining a list of other Kenyan-made products that have been used to fight the pandemic. We have at least 109 companies that have applied for certification to make face masks in Kenya and are producing.
We have about 60 companies that applied to make uh, the PPEs, the protective equipment, and that they are already uh, producing. So far, the students have developed three ventilators, all of which have passed the first stages of certification. Their hope is that these devices will move from the demonstration stage to actually being used to save lives on the battlefields of the nation's emergency wards.